Hi, I'm Daria Gavrilova, better known as Dasha, and I'm a professional tennis player. From the age of 12, I knew that this is what I wanted to do with my life. My job involves training, tennis, training, and more tennis. I chase a yellow tennis ball all day long. I love my job. Well, I do now, but I haven't always. Like most of us, I have had good days and some terrible days, and I have struggled to stay motivated. I want to share something really simple with you today. If you want to rekindle your motivation for something you love, rather than striving for perfection, it's about finding the right balance between focus and having some fun. Last year, I was struggling with two injuries. I had Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. My feet were so sore, I was struggling to walk. At Wimbledon in 2019, I lost my singles match and all I wanted to do was stop. Even though I was feeling very down, I thought I was strong enough to keep going and so I kept on playing. There wasn't a problem with my tennis or how I was hitting the ball, but I just didn't enjoy being on the court. Something had to change. I needed time to recover from my injuries and to be honest, I needed a mental break. So after the US Open, I did something that was scary for me and I decided to take six months off which, thanks to COVID, turned into one year of no competition. Clearly not this year, but every other year I've been home in Melbourne, only 12 weeks out of 52. I actually don't mind the travel, big bonus for my job, but at that point last year, I just wanted to get settled and not to live out of a suitcase. So when I decided to take some time off, it also gave me a chance to focus on what matters. I started a new university course, got creative, did some pottery. Here's my teapot. It's very pretty. So yeah, I had some fun. Everyone has something they have to deal with at various points in their lives. It could be family issues, finding love, money problems, trouble sleeping, anything. We all do. So do we, tennis ball hitters. But then you talk to a friend and maybe just by talking, you feel a bit better. In my experience, us tennis players are pretty good at hiding our emotions. Of the court, at least. And yet, sometimes we won't even share our off-court problems with closest friends on tour. And remember, we're on tour most of the time. So what stops us? Well, I can only speak for myself. But my guess is, one, we spend so much time in the media spotlight. And two, because we don't want to show that we have any weaknesses. Coaches always remind me to keep my injuries to myself and for my friends on tour, in case I accidentally give away some inside knowledge. And you know what? It makes sense. We all use this information, so we do need to keep it to ourselves. We are in a competitive job after all. But here's my problem. I can't do it. I'm an oversharer. I love social media. I'm 26. I have basically grown up with it. I kind of learned English after I created a Facebook account. I remember I was messaging tennis players I met on tour. I would post on the wall. Do you remember me? Do you want to be my Facebook friend? And poke them. Remember that? This was long before I came to Australia, so I was a young teenager. Today, I have five Instagram accounts. I know. As I said, I love social media. I have the official one, one for my dog, and I post a lot. It's a chance for me to relax after training and be creative. I used to have an Instagram account called Eat Like an Athlete. It was kind of a food blog. Along with my friend, when we used to live together, we decided that we were going to eat healthy and share our food adventures with our followers. Then my friend moved out, but I kept the page and I actually had over 10,000 followers just looking at what I ate. I was having fun with it. I posted all the healthy food choices 
and then sometimes my fun foods like sweets. But I deleted the account because I felt the pressure of eating perfectly. People would judge me if they saw me eating a piece of cake after a match. Sometimes you just need cake. I now regret deleting that Instagram account because balance doesn't only apply to diet. It's about how we live. If all you do is train and play tennis and train and play tennis and train and play more tennis, how can you have a balanced life? There's so much more to life than just tennis. There's so much more than the thing we force ourselves to focus on every day. It's so very simple and it goes for anyone. The French Open this year was my first big tournament back after one year away. And it was great to be back on tour. Today, I finally understand how to find that balance I always needed between focus and having some fun. And it's helpful having a better perspective. Maybe I'm just getting older. Maybe I'm maturing, but maybe not. If you saw my TikTok videos, you might question this. So yes, during lockdown in Melbourne, I have posted a lot of what I thought was funny on my social media. I really enjoy TikTok and lip syncing. It makes me feel like an actress. I don't bother learning the dances though. I prefer doing free dancing which means I can't dance. So, to conclude this very serious talk, let me show you some of my moves. 